is, well, why is there so much information to the contrary? Where in the news today, we see this with, you know, um, the virus that's going around currently. And why is there, do, do you think there's just simply the wrong information and people just keeping up with the status quo? Is it some nefarious agenda? Is it a combination of both? And also, do you see this changing? Do you, do you see like this um, Overton window shifting to where more people are going to be open to these, I can't even say new discoveries, but these realizations that have, you know, there's these truths that have just been here. Yeah, it's both really. I mean, there's, the information got changed a bit over a century ago. So that was when most people knew that, uh, most people were quite aware of the processes of the body, at least a couple of hundred years ago anyway. And then with the advent of germ theory and the proliferation of the pharmaceutical industry, which go hand in hand, and also the media goes in that basket as well. That's how you can now turn nature against us and start putting up walls, hence creating vast cities and decimating forests and removing ourselves from nature, therefore removing ourselves from our nature. But nature's never been out to kill us. Nature is always very supportive and symbiotic with us. And the more we remove and separate from that, the more it looks like something that is an alien or a foreigner, you know, the same mentality where, you know, you've got different color skin or hair or eyes to me and different culture and customs, therefore get away from me. <laughs> You're dangerous. So that's what it's, there's so many parallels, but germs essentially became the enemy and society is always painted an enemy, whether it be a different race or a different religion or uh, different ideologies to things like germs and then uh, terrorists and uh, the sun. <laughs> and there's always supposed to be an enemy at the gate. It's like the, it's like the narrative of being on this planet for some reason, there's, there's this narrative that goes through with there being an enemy that we need to fight or we need to defend against because without the fear then the ones that do control the world, which is, as you alluded to, is there a nefarious agenda? Yes, there absolutely is. And that is to keep us from ourselves, us from our true power and knowing what and who we really are. Because that, what we are, is truly powerful. And we're hidden from that. So we're indoctrinated out and away from that. Therefore, the ones that control the way that this place works never get, uh, <laughs> never get brought down. And it's not about fighting either. You know, that's a war mentality. As we fight germs, we fight aliens, we fight foreigners, we fight climate change, we fight all these things that are made up, essentially. And so by fighting, we're continually put into that particular frequency, for want of a better word, which is essentially the fighting frequency. And when we do that, we give them power. That's the food that they have. That's not us by nature. That's us indoctrinated into that way. And so when we can move away from that and back to our power, they will not be able to run things the way they run it. it the power then comes back to us. And that's what that's the nefarious agenda, keeping us from ourselves, perpetuating their cycle of fighting and war and lack and, and nature against us and feeding them. And that's where the balance is. We just need to bring that back and, and then it becomes our place, not theirs.